Hello and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a cute furry animal and this time it's gonna be a koala sleeping on a tree and I used pastels, soft pastels and pastel pencils. I also used colored pencils here and there but mostly pastels. So let's have a look. First things first, I started with a sketch and for sketching I used a light green pencil because my background was going to be green so I just shaded, uh, or rather I sketched the outline of the koala and the tree very lightly uh, to give myself an idea where it will be and the other thing that I'm doing now is I'm using a pointed stick this is not a pencil just a regular stick to create some lines in the paper to create some indentations in the paper uh, for the white fur on the koala's ears so I'm kinda hoping that these will stand out once I uh, go over them with color and what I'm doing now is uh, starting to work on the background using a couple of greens, a lighter one and a darker one and I'm first putting in uh, the lighter one and I even went over it a little bit with some white soft pastel and then I put down some darker green pastel for these uh, darker tones because I want to create a blurry out of focus background and to make it look like there are some leaves and branches and a forest in the background and another thing that's kind of blurry of course is my camera because it went out of focus but it's going to refocus very quickly as you can see here I'm using a dark brown pastel and starting to work on this branch that the koala will be sleeping on and this branch that I have done now is going to be a little bit lighter and a little bit blurrier because it's kind of behind uh, this behind this one so I want it to be less defined and this branch which is in the foreground is going to be kind of sharper and darker with a little bit more contrast and texture as well So I'm just doing a little bit of shading. I used a combination of brown and black to get the color that I want. I want a kind of a, a grayish brown. But like I said, the, the branch that is in the background is going to be lighter and uh, less defined. And for some of the edges and the details, I also used a little bit of colored pencil. Uh, as for the brands that I'm using uh, for the soft pastels, these are mostly Kohinoor soft pastels and the pastel pencils are mostly either Kohinoor or uh, Conti. So the reason why I'm using white on top of that green is because I want to make it even lighter in certain areas and I want to make it smoother but as you can see here I'm also putting down some darker green on top to create this variation in the background and I don't really need to define any specific shapes because like I said we're going for an out of focus look we're mostly interested in the subject in the foreground which is going to be the koala sleeping on a tree but the background, in the background we can just have these suggestions of some light and some leaves. Just a lot of green. Here as you can see I started working on the koala's nose and the facial features and here are the eyes. For this you can either use a charcoal pencil or a or a black pastel pencil either way and I also added a touch of blue to the nose I'm gonna be adding a little more because it has a bit of a bluish tone 
Anyway, uh, I just want to say a few words about what I'm doing with the fur right now on the koala's head. Um, if you, uh, first of all, uh, the animals, uh, the, the animal is not seen from up close, so uh, the texture of the fur needs to be a little bit simplified. We're just going to be able to see some of these um, larger folds and clumps of fur, but I still need to kind of try to imitate the appearance of the fur as seen from a distance and to imitate the length of the fur which obviously varies in different parts of the body. So here on the ears as you can see we have very long white fur and on the head we have a lot shorter fur with a little bit of brown. So this koala has uh, a grayish brown fur which is kind of more brown uh, on the head and on the upper part of the body and more grayish and almost white white light gray towards the belly and the lower part of the body as far as I can tell from my reference photo uh, but to produce a texture that kind of looks like short fur all I did was uh, scribble a little bit with my uh, brown pastel pencil and then I blended it very softly I didn't want to blend it too much I wanted a little bit of that rough texture to remain but after that I went in with a colored pencil to create some of these darker areas in the fur to kind of give it a little more depth in certain areas and then I'm gonna go over that with a, with a pencil eraser to pull some of the lighter clumps of hair and that should do it here as you can see I'm also adding a little bit more blue to this nose and I'm also going to be adding a touch of blue to some other areas in the fur as well as the tree for that blue I didn't use a pastel pencil I used a uh, blue colored pencil just to add a touch of blue on top of the pastel work that I did so like I said for this short fur I'm not gonna draw every single hair I'm gonna do more of that when I draw longer fur because there I have to actually create strokes that look like fur that resemble the fur both in terms of its length and direction but with a shorter fur all I can do is scribble and try to imitate the the appearance of the fur because you see in the pastel pencil in combination with the texture of the paper of course will produce a certain amount of texture and what you want to do is keep some of that texture rather than blend it completely completely in uh, so just n not make it smooth and kind of go from there because what you will end up with is kind of a furry looking texture and then you can add some details on it like adding in some suggestions of darker areas and lighter areas here as you can see I added a little bit more of these white hairs on top of the ones that were already there using a gel pen and I used that gel pen white gel pen here and there sparingly I don't really like to use it too much but here and there just to create a sharper more defined highlight I like to use a white gel pen when I when I draw these color color drawings and you can also achieve a similar effect with white gouache but I find that the white gel pen is a lot more convenient to use and also uh, kind of integrates better into a colored pencil drawing in my experience So I'm adding a little more detail to this 
branch and I am adding a touch of blue to make it look even more grayish until I'm finally happy with the texture and the color of the of the branch and so far the drawing is going well now I'm moving on to the top right corner which also needs to be darker and then here's the koala's back so I need to create an edge there and now moving on to the rest of the body and trying to break it into the main parts trying to suggest where the arms or rather the front legs and the hind legs are and now we will get some idea about uh, about the posture or the position of the body on that branch and here you can see that I'm doing the same thing with my brown brown uh, pastel just scribbling a little bit using very short or circular, circular strokes to try to create this fuzzy looking uh, furry texture and <clears throat> this area around the neck or under the neck and the chest uh, will be a lot lighter but not completely white as you can see I'm also using my gel pen again to add a few more fly away longer white hairs uh, but I, like I said I can't leave that area around the chest and the neck completely white so I added in a little bit of grey stones there as well so this upper portion of the animal around the head and the top part of the body and the back uh, is more it has a little bit more brownish and even reddish tones maybe while the rest of it will be mostly be gray like I said so here I'm going in and adding a little bit more of these grayish tones and trying to create a little bit more variation in the fur I'm using a black to go over these brown areas but also to go over these grayish areas in the lower part of the body I can also go over it with a brush smoothly and I won't lose all of that texture some of it will remain and if I feel like I need to add some more of these darker areas to create a more convincing looking fur I can just go back in and add a few of these darker spots uh, which show uh, these darker areas in the in the fur and then on top of those I can pull some highlights pull some lighter areas just to try to create that appearance of the fur so that it looks um, a little more 3d like something you can almost feel through the picture something you can something you would like to touch maybe and pet but the fur is going to be a lot longer here around the hind legs and the lower back so you can see that I started creating some suggestions of darker areas in between the in, in between those uh, folds in the skin all the way on the right and here on the front leg I'm pulling some highlights trying to create a look of grayish soft fur, soft looking fur and the top part of the back is going to be a little bit lighter because of the light source here I need to, need to finish the rest of this branch because um, I wanted the lower part of the animal to be defined so that I can uh, continue working on that fur and kind of wrap it up so here on the right I did the, these larger branches in the trunk I mostly used that brown pastel and then put down some 
uh, black on top of it and then I'm using a pencil eraser to add some more texture and lighter areas and um, make the tree bark look a little more convincing and realistic <clears throat> and I'm going to do the same thing on the slower portion of the branch but that one will be a lot darker because the koala is uh, lying on top of it so there's going to be a lot of shadow under it so that area is going to be dark brown and almost black As you can see, my background isn't um, completely devoid of texture, mostly for a couple of reasons. First, because uh, the pencils that I'm using, I obviously wasn't able to blend them in quite as smoothly, and also I find that these uh, Conti uh, pastel pencils are a little bit scratchy and I think they're far more suitable for working on sanded paper and this is not sanded paper this is regular drawing paper in case you were wondering this is just your average generic drawing paper nothing special and as for the colored pencils that I use for some of the details and to refine some of the details in the texture of the fur I used uh, the, uh, a number of different brands, mostly Faber-Castell and Stadler. So here, as you can see, I'm starting to add some of these darker, uh, dark uh, folds in the fur because I want to make that fur look longer and fluffier and softer here around the hind legs and uh, the lower back so right now it looks a little bit too dark that I blended it with my brush but that's fine because I am going to be pulling some highlights with a pencil eraser and uh, this is a part that actually took a little bit of patience and a little bit more time because I needed to go in in between these darker areas and pull these highlights to make these hair, hairs or um, folds of hairs and skin to make them kind of stand out a little bit more and you can see that, uh, that some of them are starting to pop out kind of if you know what I mean and I'm creating more depth in my fur So I'm just going to keep doing that until I'm happy with the appearance of the fur and also work a little bit on the edges, trying to pull a few flyaway hairs here and there, define the edge a little bit better, even though I want some of it a little bit blurry, and adding a touch of color to certain parts of the fur because like I said to me the color was a little bit confusing because there were some brownish tones and this is what the finished drawing looks like I'm gonna sign it here but the drawing was already sprayed with a fixative I spray all of my drawings with a fixative spray to protect them from smudging and I don't mind doing that with pastel pencils and pastels as well Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out my other videos, bye.